What's up? This is Brian from Shadows Fall and a million other bands. Uh, you're watching Twisted Images. Keep it metal. Let me fucking hear ya! Ticker Twisted, Twisted Images here, and I'm here with Brian from Shadows Fall. What's happening? And I just thought I'd ask him a couple questions. Uh, I'm a personal user of Zen, uh, the Zen of Screaming. Uh, Brian, yep. tell us, uh, when you said you were the first person, one of the first people that Melissa helped. Yeah, I was well, one of the first metal people. She had uh, yeah. been doing vocal, you know, kind of traditional vocal lessons for a long time. She's an amazing teacher. Uh, but uh, it was probably the late 90s I met her randomly. And my, our label was looking for, uh, you know, someone who could kind of help me out. And I, I went down and met with Melissa in her studio, had an incredible lesson. She kind of started learning about that this isn't just people yelling, there, you know, like, like maniacs. There's a technique to it. There's a way to save your throat. There's a way to do it right. And uh, she really helped me develop not only my range and expand what I could do as a singer, but she taught me ways to treat my voice in a you know a way to that would maintain it through like eight weeks of tour, you know, 20 shows in a row type stuff. Because before I was just screaming my ass off like a maniac. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, like I was telling you earlier, the one thing that really stuck with me is when you said if you, if you don't practice, you're being lazy. You yeah. know, you're just you just got to keep at it every day. It's, it's easy. It's just like any other muscle, you know. Like I I, lo I looked at touring as like you know almost like a professional athlete where you're like you want to give your best performance every day so you need to stretch you need to like work out your you know yeah. muscles you need to do that and with the yeah. with as a singer you know like a guitar player can warm up you know like a drummer's got to warm up and the singer's got to do the same thing and if you don't want to hit the ground running for the first song as hard as this third song you know like that's the way to do it you got to warm up you got to do all the techniques but also she not only taught me you know how to take care of my voice she taught me how to expand my range she taught me like different things that I didn't realize were hurting me, things like that. And it, it was amazing. Wow. Yep. So um, I'd like to know what's uh, up, what's coming up with Shadows Fall and Downpour. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, you that? know, not a lot in the Shadows Fall camp these days. We're, we've kind of been on a semi hiatus for a while. You know, really? uh, everyone's in different classic thrash bands now. You know, John's playing with Anthrax, Jason's what? playing with Overkill, what? and uh, and I've been chasing my two kids around these days. So oh, that's cool. Your dad? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So kids you got? Uh, two kids, uh, two and a half and five. They're hey, both congrats, maniacs dude. and they're awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so not a lot happening with Shadows Fall. Uh, Downpour though, like our new record's about to drop uh, in about a month. Uh, but, uh, it's probably one of the most uh, eclectic recordings I've ever done. We really pushed ourselves to, to take all our influences and what we all kind of shared as common ground and then take it beyond that. Because we all grew up in the Massachusetts metal scene. We, you know, we got members of Unearth, Kanai, Shadows Fall, all these bands. But we didn't want it to sound like a mix of all that. We wanted to bring in new elements. So there's a lot like of that. experimentation. As a singer, I pushed myself to do a lot of different stuff. Uh, and I'm super proud of the record. So uh, Downpour album, check it out. I respect that, man. That's great. And then uh, we're here at Headbangers Con. Headbangers Con, man. This is the coolest <laughs> shit ever. Like, I, I've never been a part of anything like this. It's super cool. Uh, it's, it's so many metal musicians in the same room. And, and the best part is none of us are playing tonight. We just get to drink and hang out. It's awesome. <laughs> And the fans still get to hang out with you. Exactly. Guys, with you. Exactly. So it's, it's it's cool. I hope this becomes an annual event because it's very cool. Chris uh, from Studio 51 has set up such an awesome thing here. I, I, and super glad to be a part of the first one. He's a good dude, man. Yeah. And um, how did you, uh, so did he, did he hit you up? And yeah, he like, kind of hey. contacted me, told me about the idea. I, I was super into it right from the beginning. I saw a few of the people who were involved. They were all friends of mine, all guys I respected. And the, the guest list just kept growing and growing and it just became such a cool thing so I'm really happy for him that it worked out as well. That's sick man. Well Brian I'll let you go and have right. drinks and have a good time. I really appreciate you hanging out with us. Pleasure. You have a great day man. Let me fucking hear ya!